What's up everybody? It's Darren here. Today we're going to do a review on a new KitchenAid dishwasher. Uh, it's right there. It's kind of special because as you can see it has a window at the top. Also has uh, LED lights on the inside. Uh, although you have the lights and the window, you cannot sit and watch your dishes as they're being washed. Uh, how it works is when you open up the dishwasher, the light comes on and stays on for 15 minutes or at the completion of a wash cycle the light comes on and stays on for 15 minutes and you can see your dishes once they're clean but you can't sit there and actually watch them while they're being washed uh, it is stainless steel has the cat classic KitchenAid badge at the bottom has polished chrome trim around the window as well as on the end of the handle the handle itself has a crisscross pattern to it uh, kind of texture it gives it a little bit of a commercial appliance feel in my opinion on the ends you have the uh, KitchenAid medallion, uh, comes with red. You can purchase black and chrome to replace the red if you'd like. When you push the door closed, light fades out. I think that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and open it up. It is a, this is a two rack dishwasher. Right here you have the dispenser for the detergent and rinse aid. The main wash arms at the bottom there's that one there and one at the top those are the three LED lights towards the back as you can see those four arms is part of what's called pro scrub basically there are ten holes on each one of those arms and what you do is you place a baking pan or casserole dish or something at the back point it towards the back select pro scrub and during that cycle 40 jets of water will blast whatever dish you put there clean uh, so at the end, hence pro scrub, so at the end it will be nice and clean. There is no third rack to this dishwasher but you do have a little basket right there and you have uh, stemware holders on each side. Now my last dishwasher had a third rack but I actually like having a two rack dishwasher again main reason uh, this right here is my coffee travel mug and my last dishwasher I could not put that at the top because the third rack just took up too much space now I can put like a pot that you would uh, boil pasta in at the top you know we're a family of five so when we cook a large meal in addition to the plates the cups you have a lot of skillets pans saucepans and stuff like that so uh, two racks is actually working out better for us now let's look at the features as far as wash options. You have Pro Wash, which has soil scents, and that basically, uh, during the process of washing your dishes, it determines how soiled they are and adjusts the time accordingly. You have Tough, Normal, Light, Express Wash, Rinse Only, and that's for if you want to just rinse off your dishes and not wash them right then and there. You have Heated Dry, Pro Dry, Pro Scrub, High Temp Wash, Santa Rinse, and that's basically the final rinse cycle. It takes it up to a temperature of 155 degrees Fahrenheit. You have a delay start of 1 to 24 hours and a control lock. One thing I like about these buttons is they're touch buttons. Very responsive, but you can wipe it and it doesn't trigger. Every time I wipe this clean, it never triggers anything but the minute you touch a button BAM works just like that I installed this about three weeks ago uh, it's been working great it has a noise rating of 44 decibels so it's nice and quiet um, if you have any questions go ahead and ask them in the comment section and I'll answer them pretty quickly um, thank you for watching 